Hello everyone, uh, Rylan here with an instructional video for all of you today. Hopefully answering the most frequent question I get on my channel, which is how to get Stay Tuned to work on your computer, your modern computer. Well, I've been trying to get as many people answered as I possibly can individually, but I thought that an instructional video like this would be more helpful to people in the future. And to the some of you who have messaged me uh, recently who I've not gotten to yet, I do apologize, but hopefully this will help you as well. This tutorial will only go through um, as early as Windows XP, uh, the 32-bit system, all the way up to um, Windows 7. I'm currently running a Windows 7 64-bit system, so that is the benchmark for what I'm doing now. Not I'm not entirely sure if I can get this game to run on Windows 8. I haven't tried. Probably won't be able to. But for people who are running Windows 8 now who are watching this, you try it out and tell me if it works or not. To those who are running Mac or Linux systems, I'm sorry this instructional video is not for you. I have absolutely no idea how to run both of those systems, so you're pretty much out of luck with me. I'm sorry. So, let's start with the easiest one to get to running the Windows XP system. So, when you pop in the CD for Stay Tuned, you'll have it autoplay. Now, one thing about autoplaying is that you're probably, you'll see this thing if it's the first time there. We're not installing the game. There is, it is absolutely not necessary in order to install Stay Tuned in order to get it to run, so we're just going to have to quit that out. We're going to get a bit more manual, actually. What we're going to do is actually go into the disk itself. And inside the disk, you're going to see a ton of extra bits and stuff. In order to get it running on Windows XP, the sim it's the simplest one to run. All you have to do is go into the Win31. Windows 3.1 folder, and then go down to Start 16, which is an application. So you are able to double click it and it'll just go. However, I am running a Windows 7, Windows 7 system, so that doesn't work for me. It will work for you if, it should work for you, if you're running a Windows XP system, because it did for me. That's how I recorded my LP, which you can also find on my channel. So that is not going to work after Windows XP. So Windows 7 people and, Win and Windows Vista people, continue watching because you haven't learned how to do it yet. Although I just said to do the Start 16 bit, half of the game really doesn't work, actually. Because the movies actually do not work if you're just doing a rough um, startup. In order to get the movies working, you actually have to, going up, have to go up to Q Setup, which is a installation for QuickTime for Windows 2, I believe? Really old, but you'll have to do that, which is actually really quick. You can do, the installation is like under a minute. Do that, and then run it, and everything should be working smoothly. I haven't run into any problems with that, so if there are any problems, message me with anything you have. Maybe I can help you out, but I haven't run into any problems, so... Now, for the Windows, Vista, and Windows 7 people. Since running it simply on the basic operating system does not work, because, as you can see, if I run Start 16 again, you'll get this. 32-bit, 64-bit system. Vista and 7 are too new to run this, to run Stay Tuned. So. What we're going to do here is that we actually have to go back in time, use an older operating system. Which means this comes into play. This is um, Windows Virtual PC. This is what I use to record a bunch of my old games, including the Journeyman Project. So, in here I'm actually running Windows 98. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get Windows or Microsoft Virtual PC running on my computer. I'm just going to say this right now. Please do not forward any questions about uh, the virtual PC program to me because I'm not the best source of information for that. It's actually a really easy system to get to work. 
Um, if you have any questions, actually go to the Microsoft forums. Um, they actually do answer your questions. And getting an operating system running on there, in terms of Windows 7, the earliest operating system you can get to run is 98. If you're on Windows XP, the earliest one, I believe, is 95. I've gotten 95 to work on that one. So there you have it. Now that you're in Windows 98, you're probably wondering, I have Stay Tuned, the disk, in my CD drive. How do I get to the, the program to recognize that I have a CD inside? Well, I have this in full screen now, so if we go to not there... So if I simply just minimize this for a moment, there'll be a settings set here, which is what you will see once you get this sorted out, because you have to do this in order to make sure you're running the, the proper operating system, the amount of RAM that you have, and the virtual hard disk. What we're wanting is the DVD drive. You can either, either have it as an ISO image, open an ISO image off of the virtual DVD drive that it has, or you can access a physical drive, which is what I have done. I have the Stay Tuned disk in my F drive. It could be different for you. It could be the regular D. It could be any number of the alphabet that isn't taken. So if you just access the physical drive and set it to the proper drive that you have the CD in, press OK, and you're good to go. So if we go back here and the... Oh, stupid background. Now we can just simply go to my computer and voila, we have Stay Tuned recognized by the virtual program. So now we can just simply do the same thing that we did with the Windows XP startup. Manually go in and you can see Stay Tuned. We have all the folders. Everything's nice and good. We can go into Windows 3.1, Win31. Now we can also... I'll go through this. The queue setup. Here we go. Apple computer, quick time for Windows 2.1. You must run this in order to get the movies going. If you don't, none, none of them will work. Just trust me. Go through the installation process. It'll take under a minute. All right. It's not going to be completed, but I've already done it anyway. So it doesn't matter. And then you go to Smart 16. You're probably wondering about Windows 95 um, folder. I haven't really gotten that to really work. There's something odd about it. But not really a worry when you have two different um, manual startups, so that's fine. And then you can go to Start 16 and simply run the program, like so. You'll also get this warning, and you can just simply bypass it. There's absolutely no problem with it. Now, actually, a good indicator of whether the movies are working or not is the funny bone wa dog walking up to the bone. If that is not working, that means the movies as a whole are not working and you have to run the quick time setup. If they are working, like I just showed you here, you're good to go and you can play Stay Tuned on your modern computer. So hopefully this helped you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me a message about what uh, about Stay Tuned. I, please make the question about Stay Tuned. I'm not taking, again, I am not taking any questions about running the virtual program. It's very easy to set up, trust me. And if you're running a Mac or Linux, sorry, I can't help you there. So I hope this helped you get this running and hope you have fun with it. Take care, everyone.